In this video, I will be demonstrating how to uh, customize the images on the front page of the Learning with MOOCs website. I will also be demonstrating how to change the content uh, on the site as well. So let's start with the images. Uh, images are quite simple. Uh, we're going to click on, uh, once you're logged in, there will be this bar um, up at the top, and it will have a button on it that says Customize. And when you click that button that says customize, you'll get this display over here. And when you uh, we're interested right now in uh, this area here, and this has uh, a bunch of default images in it right now, uh, these four right here. And they each correspond with one of the sections of the home page. So you got the trees and the trees and the wood planks respond with these wood planks here and our uh, smoky mountain image here and down a little further um, and that's it and then the tools are way down here okay so we got that so changing them is a simple process just click the remove button here uh, click the change or change mo uh, image button here and select a file from somewhere in your file system or somewhere in the media library of the site um, if you upload them uh, through the media manager of the site. Um, one uh, important tip here is that you don't want them to be too huge. Uh, WordPress will not um, resize these uh, automatically for you. So you want to find an image that is about 1600 pixels wide and 1050 uh, pixels tall. and um, and choose that uh, high quality image in that band, but you also don't want it to be too large. Anything over one megabyte, uh, actually anything really over 400 uh, kilobytes is, is overkill probably. Um, so try to get them in there. <clears throat> okay, so that's how you change the images out. Um, you can actually also use the um, this tool to change the content on the pages. Um, you click on this uh, widgets this is panel here, and you see the four sec or, sorry the seven sections of the page uh, going down. So this page section number one, um, this has one widget in it, and it says learning, uh, and it's the visual editor one, and it uh, has this content in it. And so if I add learning with MOOCs four, I want to change that to the number four. Um, I can just do that there, and I think it actually, yeah, it actually updates in real time. Um, so I'll hit Save and Publish anyway, and then I'll close that, and now we see Learning with Luke War um, here. We can go back in here and uh, change any one of those uh, sections if I wanted to change the, uh, the very last one is the contact page. Um, and if we wanted to change that to contact uh, the organizers, uh, we can do that here. And it's going to update right away. So if we scroll down here, all the way to the bottom, uh, let's see, can I drag this to the side? Uh, yeah, contact the organizers. It's already changed there for us. So, yeah simple um, and each one of them just has that visual editor and then it has a great big window with a bunch of content in it which you can change in here um, you can use a bunch of the, the, these tools up here you can add some tools to add, uh, some additional editing options here um, you can if you want to do it in HTML you can switch over to here and write some HTML um, but anyway that's how you do it 